Nigeria only in 1980s. Um, the, when the when the leaders have a little bit, you know, remind, you know, something, something, you know, something rethink for themselves because they suffered during the Cultural Revolution. So they have a movement called Enlightening Movement in China. So only in 1980s we got some some chance to to say something, you know, to not only a little bit but better than all of those years. So and then I changed um, by chance. I uh, I became. Uh, a, 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 a writer, novel story writer, story short story, story writer, and then journalist. And in 1988, I was a columnist in a national published newspaper called Guangming Daily, in Lightning Daily. And my my field, I covered the field is academic and cultural. I know nothing about the three bodies, about Yangtze, about you know something happened there. So, you know, in China, we, the people like me, my generation, we trained as the tools of the party. We are so used to obey some that my boss ordered me to do. So, only in 1987, I got a chance to go to uh, Hong Kong. And then I found with a shock that, you know, when the, the Three Gorges project uh, went on and went on, we, we know so little in mainland, in Beijing, but the Hong Kongese show more concern uh, about that compared with us. So I feel shame, I feel shame. And since I made friends with the Hong Kongese and other person, they kept mailing me the news. In, in, in Beijing, we cannot get the truth, the, the information about the, about the Three Waters project. The, the people from Hong Kong mail me the information. Then I got known that, wow, yeah, what well, is the, is the, you know, such a project. And then I, uh, I, you know, get in touch with some, with some experts and engineers and scientists. I know, I got known that they have their own independent opinion. This is so rare because since 1949, all the, every time the government wants to do something and the scientists, the experts, you know, try to appear and support the government policy. So when I got known that they have independent opinion, I try to, uh, I try to, like, and at that time, no one, no one can interview them. No one can publish their opinion. So it's the uh, one is the even the VIPs in China. They not belong to the to the party system. They only belong to the in China. China we call it CPPCC. Only consultative some is the but but they were VIPs. And they when they you know have an investigative investigative uh, you know tutorial to the three quarters. Uh, site and when they return, they give a report. It's very important to show their opinion. And the propaganda department from the Communist Party ordered all the newspaper. Uh, then all the newspaper because of the mouthpiece, the speak, the mouthpiece of them, not allowed even one journalist went to the, the conference, the reporting a meeting to to show their opinions. So it's by chance, you know, the, the leader of this group, he's my mother's friend. So it's not my boss ordered me, but my mother ordered me to go to their <laughs> meetings. So, and I went there. It is very, I remember it's a big hall with the seat about 2,000. And then only, only, you know, the front, only two lines with the audience. Because the government not allow people to attend this kind, this kind of seminar. And when I went, went, went in from the gate, you, you know the the journalists the only no no journalists no no help. but this time my mother's friend uh, I call him uh, uncle uncle saw me and then he said there is a journalist coming let 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 us you know have this fun you know welcome her so I'm the only one the only one so I try to do something to you know just open there you know let the so whole society to know their opinion. But it's no way. It's no way. All the publishing house, the news, the, the magazine, the newspaper, radio, and TV under control of the party until 19, uh, 1989, just before Tiananmen Square. And then I have no way. Uh, by chance, one of my friends, who's uh, from a, a, a book, you know, publishing house, and she said, she said, I, I had a number. The number means. Only when you have a number, you can have your publication print out in the factory. 
So I have a number. I can offer the number to you. So, so, so this is the last way. So we published our book, Yangtze, Yangtze. So Kevin just mentioned in, the, in 1992 in the Congress, uh, about 200 person uh, not uh, agree with the, with the Three Gorges project. This is very rare, very rare. Uh, every time, since 1949, almost every time when the party want to have something, you know, uh, uh, approval by the Nation, Pe National People's Congress is 99 or 100% support. Only the three gorges, uh, you know, three gorges, we have three hand, three hand, uh, the two, about 200 deputies refuse to support. This is because we, you know, we call the chance. Uh, before the Congress, we spread our small book, it called Yangzi Yangzi. You know, with the different opinion from the experts, scientists, the engineers spread in the two Congress, the People, National People's Congress and the CPPCC Congress, to, and then make people know, know something really happened, uh, our Yang Zi. And since then, you know, my, you know, the, 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 the authorities see me as, um, as a, um, enemy, <laughs> maybe enemy. So, uh, after Tiananmen Square, I was arrested. And the, the true reason is I published the small book. And since then, since then, uh, few and few people dare to, to, to show their opinion about, about the project. It, uh, it, if you mentioned Yangtze River, you mentioned Three Gorges project, you're against it, it means you're against the government and you get against the party. So, and then the Three Gorges project has already in its, uh, the third phase of the whole uh, whole um, whole construction and uh, people kept asking me why why you know the you know the it's already f completed and you uh, you insisted to against it i said yes yes it seems all the you know all the year we failed we are so small a group so few people and then you know other side is the powerful government the whole government but uh, uh, at the beginning, we insisted cancel it. We totally against this pro project, and then we suggest maybe we, we should po postpone it. You know, let it. You know, twenty years later, we we consider it once again, and we failed. And then we try to try to suggest the smaller dam, the lower dam, not as high as one hundred eighty-five meters, but as low as uh, one hundred sixty. But we failed. The, the dam, the, the dam has already built. Right now, we we suggest that we don't use the the working uh, water level as 175, but on lower the level as the 160. Then uh, less people will move, the uh, less land will be watered, and uh, maybe you know, as we know, the not only the the the, uh, the dam dam builder, not only they refuse to take advice from us, but it still try to expand the project because the more the, the larger the scale the, the project more money they will earn so and uh, people you know we it seems we failed so many times all the way we failed but uh, uh, but you know I, I'm a Chinese I live in this year so we should do what we can do in Mao Zedong era, we can we cannot say even one word, but now we can say a little bit. So we, we when we did like that, we can say to our descendants or send grandson, we did a little. You will do, you will do more. Uh, uh, Four hundred million people live along Yangtze, and it nurtures our uh, civilization. Not only the Han nation along Yellow River, but the Chu uh, civilization along Yangtze. And this is the beautiful three gorges, three gorges, and this is three gorges again. And the you know the government made the decision to have the dam, and you know the people's congress and the people is so happy to have the opening ceremony, and then the the, the project started. Now this is the this is the, try to clean up the bottom of the of the reservoir. And the construction for the water locks, and this is the, the is, has already built in 2000, and this is the the, the bird view from here. Yeah, this is the dam and the Yangtze River, and uh, yeah, the.
the, is the flow of holes on bottom of the dam and the dam side with the, with the train. And 175, it means the red line, red line, the water, water level would be like that. And the, the water locks. And, uh, and uh, Kevin just showed a small boat. Uh, you know, the people talking to the small boat has no chance to go through the, go through the water locks because only bigger one, bigger ship can go through. So they lost their job, lost their business. And then uh, something terrible has already happened. This is be be uh, before the dam, all the garbage collected and have to have the, the, the ship and the people, the, the labor to clean all the garbage. And the ugly, ugly town has already built. This, uh, this, you know, I have another story, but I have no 